Hey, welcome everybody back. I'm Marcy, here with Marlo. How you all doing today? We are talking today about gratitude. Being thankful for? What we have. And what God gives us. God, yeah. And... Well, for what He gives you, for what He provides. Um, and... If you guys are just feeling blessed all the time by God, there's so much to be thankful for, and you should just be extremely happy. Extremely. Yeah, I mean, it's so such a blessing to to be at a place in your life with God where you are thankful for what you have. But we all struggle with the gratitude part. Yeah. Um, even though no matter how you look at it you know I'm thankful I have a roof over my head and you know however how humbled you are by what you have there's always times that that human form takes over yeah and we're not content that we want more that we feel like we deserve more or it's a it's a constant excuse me constant battle yeah um and which makes sense you know we, we live in a world of sin satan tries to keep us on our toes with that all the time it's a struggle to stay humble in what you have and you know the gratitude for what god gives us your health your you know your family's health um just day to day you know having a you know a vehicle that gets you from point A to point B and not feeling like you need something better. You know, trying to keep up with someone else or thinking you need something newer, something better, something more fashionable or yeah. all those things. And God provides us everything we need. He will, you know, you show your faith in Him and you put your trust and loyalty in Him. It's not always answered the way we want the prayers to be answered but he takes care of us and that kind of falls under the gratitude too you know in the um being gracious for what he does give you you know he always answers our prayers sometimes the answer is just not yes and still being grateful for him answering our prayers you know um well, I, you know, and, and I, I would take this time to definitely say all the time we're, we are thankful uh, and grateful for the things he provides. But I think our, our minds are so conditioned in sin that when we really take a step back and look or think about it, are we really that thankful? I mean, and, and this is a challenge for all of us to take that step back to really appreciate what we have, what he's provide. I mean, he'll provide anything and everything we need. We may think we need a 10 and what he provides is a perfect eight. You know what I mean? Yeah. And 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 that perfect eight was well, perfect. So it's more than ten. It's perfect. And and that's what we have to realize. The worldly perspective on perfect. Yeah. Is a lot of it. For that. And, that. and that's what we have to realize. Take the step back. And realize he's gonna give us perfect. God's time. Perfect. You know, and not, you know, talking about being thankful for what we have, um, not complaining about things and stuff like that. Which it, is, it a hard, is hard. It's hard. And, and I myself right now, going through this coronavirus, have struggled with that. I am so thankful that I didn't get sicker than I did. 
I didn't have to be hospitalized. I am very lucky to not, you know, have had to be on breathing machines and fighting for my life. God has taken care of me and made sure of that. But the side effects and symptoms that are dragging out long term, it's hard to remember that at times. You know, when you're fighting a horrible headache again and again, Mm -hmm. you know, terrible leg pains, muscle pains, it's hard to keep that in, in mind of, but God, thank you, you, you know, you spared my life. You know, you, you have healed me so much, you know, and you are so thankful for everything. It's, it is hard, though. And, and since you're talking about how hard it is for that, well, then if you take that, take that a step further, think about how hard it, it is. It's extremely hard. But in those hard and difficult times, that's when your faith needs to get stronger and your belief in him that he will fix and take away the pain, the problems, and change it for greatness. That's when we develop that that bond, unbreakable bond with God in these times right now yeah, and all the times sure. right now when they when they're tough and they're hard and, and you don't know where to turn well you you know where to turn god that's it and, and like it, i said he may not answer you right then and there but in those moments is when you're developing the character with him that bond that relationship with God, that's what you're developing right in those moments. And then when you get to that peak is when your blessing will come. It's just and, and you'll be thankful. It's just remembering, you know, where you where you put your faith, where your faith is. You know, and, and it is, you know, like I, I struggle with that daily, you know, with different symptoms that it just pop up again out of the blue you start to feel better and then all of a sudden it's just like the bottom yanked out again and this hurts that hurts you feel sick again you know it is a test of faith a lot yeah. you know that I, I haven't you know I don't come to the point that I'm you know I give up you know you're, you're not doing anything for me no you know it's in those times that I pray even more for his help to get me through because I know he is the only way well, and in those times you don't give up no. he it's a test too on your end for him do you give up when it's really hard when you're in pain no. I I can guarantee you when that blessing come it is greater than what you've been through amen or, or what you're going through. And it's just, everyone needs to remember that, you know, because everybody, everybody struggles with these trials in life. Everybody goes through them and just, you know, to remember to be gracious, grateful for what you have, what God has given you, because what God has given you is perfect for you. Yes. It may not seem worldly perfect in your eyes, but in God's eyes and God's time, it's perfect for you and it's what is best for us. And that's what we have to remember. God only does what's best for us. Yes. Anything else on that for you? No. Me either, I don't think. Everybody, just God bless you all. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Continue to prayer. Keep your relationship with God and open and build on it continue to take care of yourselves take care of each other until next time god bless